Previously on Yo! Ain't nobody got time for that Come on, let's go So yeah At least she's alive, right? So we can sell her And not just her titties But you know Michelle too, so Yeah You still have a chance, right? Yeah I know, but I'm so worried Don't forget that time travel Has a strong effect on A person's body I'm worried that the longer She's left inside a time pocket She's trapped in The more likely she'll suffer Some kind of a brain damage Or maybe even worse Well, uh, I guess you know about that What's with your studies in brain chemistry and biology, girl? Rose managed to another slight smile. I'm glad that you didn't lose all your memory be from before. Still, yes, time is definitely a factor here. There's just no way of knowing how long she can survive being trapped in time like that. And then, there's our new recruit. New, new recruit? What? Oh, what? Tensei did say something about finding someone to take Michelle's place, didn't he? Yeah, already? Damn! Where? How long has it been, girl? Uh, he did, and, um, well, I don't know if it's just a situation or what, but, uh, she didn't make a good first impression on me or Kyo. So, Michelle's replacing me as a girl, right? Like always, right, Grand? And, uh, what's her name? What's she like, girl? Yeah? Is, is she like... You know? You know? You know? Is she like... You know? Yeah? Her name's Tessa, and as far as what she's like, uh, I don't really know much about her, except that she's a former cheerleader. A former cheerleader? What? A, a, a cheerleader? O okay, Granddad, okay. A cheerleader seems like a fucking strange choice of person called to replace Michelle Yeah, Granddad! But I have to admit that a biologist like Rose also seemed like an unlikely person to also play the role of a sword-wielding time hopping knight. But hey, you know, at least she knows something about science. You know, Rose, it makes sense. Rose being there does make sense. A fucking cheerleader now! What the fuck, Granddad? Damn! Uh, listen, um, why don't you go on ahead? I'm sure Tensei will handle the instructions, and I'd like to finish up my run before heading down. Okay, uh, sure, yeah. Nodding, Rose broke into a jog, but before she had taken more than a few steps, she paused and uh, looked back at me. Kenji? It really is good to see you again. I mean that. Uh, girl, I know. Thanks, and I miss you too, girl, the hell. Rose gave me another quick smile before again breaking into a run, leaving me alone to make my way towards the entrance to the lab. I pressed the call button. A few moments passed before a familiar voice sound. Is it Kyo Chan? Ugh, oh, it's Tensai, in fact. Stay your business. Hey, uh, Granddad, it's me, Kenji. Uh, good, uh, we've been waiting for you. Come down to the lab. I have someone here I'd like for you to meet. A moment later, the elevator ding and the shuttered door slid open. I hit it inside, pressing the button for the lowest floor. After several seconds, uh, the elevator dinged again and the door slid open, revealing Tensei standing there along with, uh, someone else. Hello, uh, Kenji. It's been a while. Yeah, too damn long, damn! Uh, hello, Grandpa. Or Granddad, yeah? Allow me to introduce you to our new commander and operation manager. So hold on! You, you hire a fuck cheerleader to do a fuck commander and operation manager system? On the fuck time window machine! What the fuck is this granddad dad? Anyway, who's this girl? Kenji, uh, meet Tessa. A good friend of mine. Mm, a good friend of yours, huh? A cheerleader? What the fuck? Oh! What the f Okay! Uh, it's so cheery, too! What the fuck? The BGM! Tessa, this is my grandson, Kenji. A pleasure to meet you, Kenji! Hi! Do we like shake hands or I I should or should I bow instead? Uh shaking hands is fun, girl. Yeah. With that, Tissa held out her hand, which I took in my own, yeah. And as she gave it a vigorous shake, oh my god, girl, chill! Uh, I examined the newest member of our team. Cute, yeah. Kawaii as fuck indeed, yeah. Seriously look like a girl from an anime. Well, Kyo does look like a girl from an anime too, in real. But still, you definitely, yeah, damn like a like a yeah, magical shoujo! Yeah! Anyway, that was the very first thing I thought as I looked Tessa over. She was without a doubt as cute as a 
Let's burn him, yeah! She had large uh, blue eyes brimming with energy and pink hair that was done up in pigtails. She also had an ample chest and long, sharply legs that seemed to stretch out forever like how you like, huh, Granada? Anyway, yeah! And at the moment, she was grinning infectiously as she released my hand from an energetic shaking. So, uh, yeah, girl, chill down. Anyway, uh, she's like, she's going to be the new commander, Granddad? That's right, uh, this has been helpful with the time window project for quite some time now. Really? No, uh, I don't know about the time window at the time. Tensei kept that part of himself, you know? I had Tessa overseeing uh, another faculty that I had managed to secure, which handles essentials like our raw materials, shipping and handling of critical supplies, and so on. Basically, uh, she's been making certain that our operation and things needed to keep it going remain under the radar of the government, no, sir? Yeah. I, I see, so, uh, Tessa, uh, when did you find out, girl? I mean, that Tensei had built an honest to goodness time machine? What? Not until he called me up last week to let me know that he needed my help now. And uh, to be honest, when I found out what uh, you've all been doing and what happened and the rest of it, I said I have a mega brand meltdown. I know how you feel, girl. Uh, I remember feeling the same when I found about my fucking self or about it myself too, yeah. So, uh... Uh, if you didn't know about the time and window at first, then, uh, I hope you weren't too mad when you found out that uh, Granddad had been keeping you in the dark, girl, yeah? Well, I had always known that he was working on something really important and that he wanted to make sure that nobody found out about it, so I wasn't too mad, yeah? Besides, if I had to be completely honest, if he told me he invented a time machine, or invented, I mean, a time machine, I have wondered if old age was catching up with spring. Not or not that I blame you for that. Uh, it is a difficult notion to grasp. Uh, so, so, uh, if you don't fucking mind asking, uh, why did you choose her for this? I fucking tell you the granddad I mean, I mean, uh, no offense, Tessa, but damn. You'd still like to hear what makes me qualify for hooking up with Tensei's time is Tenshi, huh? I found myself frowning my uh, confusion at this. Say what, girl? Uh, the time Tenshi? Wait, like, like the title? What? That's what Tessa has taken to calling our little group of time travelers. Uh, I'm afraid that she's spent more time reading fucking comic books or yeah, manga than on her studies, yeah. Then why the fuck did you put her in a fucking commander, Dev? Well, I figured that uh, if we're a team, we need a team name. Where all girls and girls' team tend to have, you know, angels or something like that will work into the name and since you're Japanese. And since she is Japanese for angels, yes, yes, so we've explained or you've explained, yes. And Alliteration works really well with something like this, you know, I mean, to, to sound it out! Time to It rolls off the tongue really nicely, don't you think? At this point, holy fuck, I was feeling a bit worried, yeah. Tess not seem to be uh, as energetic and enthusiastic as Kyo, I've been dying. And she seemed to be treating, like, or treating this like it was some kind of a game, yeah. I found myself wondering if she was uh, grounded enough in reality to handle the kind of responsibility that uh, Michelle's job demanded. Uh, when Tensai looked at me, he raised an eyebrow, almost like he could tell what I was thinking at this point. Yeah! And, uh, to answer your question, Kenji, uh, Tensai's qualifications are that she had good skills in physics and machinery. Okay! Thank you for explaining, Granddad Dad! I mean, damn, I mean, yeah, because all I heard was she was a goddamn cheerleader. So fuck, Granddad, thanks for telling me, damn. Perhaps uh, not as good as the other girls. Uh, she's still pursuing a college degree, but uh, she's still quite knowledgeable in terms of computers. <laughs> okay. She's also a highly skilled martial artist with excellent gymnastic talent. Mm-hmm. And uh, perhaps most importantly, uh, she's proven that she's capable of keeping a secret. 
as well as respecting the rules I've laid out to, for her. That's right! Fact is, I'm looking forward to a chance to, to breaking out my black belt and kicking some future bait, you know what I'm saying? Given our situation with Misky and Buddy, uh, I decided that perhaps now would be a good time to add some extra broad to our team of brains. I guess I can't argue with that. Yeah! Well, uh, it's nice to meet you, Tessa, girl. Yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to, you know, learning more about you, yeah. Since you're like ten size pants, huh? I'm sure we'll get along. Oh, Dal, would you mind doing me a big favor? Well, okay, I guess. What kind of favor do you want, girl? Uh, Tessa puts her hands together in a pleading manner. Oh, God, what's up? Could you please be sure not to call me cute? Okay, uh... Why? Okay, okay. Out of all the fucking favorites I could have imagined, Tessa asking me, I had to admit this one didn't even come close to being among it. In fact, why? I mean, if you dressed up cute, then you end up being called cute. Have you ever thought of that, girl? Goddamn! Ah, anyway. Seriously, I hate being called cute. Hate it with a passion, you know? I've had people calling me cute kawaii all my fucking life, and I really appreciate it if I didn't have Tessa's grandson doing that as well. I've already had to put up with it from the girls he has got running around here. Good! I'd recommend you to oblige her on this, Kenji. Yeah. Well, uh... All right, uh, yeah, though you are, well, uh, attracted, yeah, so, uh, if the word cute doesn't slip out, uh, just remind me, okay, girl, yeah, I swear, uh, I wouldn't mean it in a bad way, you know what I'm saying, yeah, because you do look cute, yeah. Okay, I can work with that, especially since you're Tensei's grandson and all, I guess I could let you off without breaking anything. Uh, th thanks? Got the feeling this or that things were going to be more interesting from there on out, y'all. Yeah. Um, now that the introductions are out of the way, why don't we go to the top window room? I'd like to show you some of the modifications we've uh, made there, yeah. A brief or yeah, a brief you on some changes I've decided to implement. I got a bad feeling when I heard this, but uh. I couldn't put it down to anything other than my nerves acting up after all that had happened, yeah. So, uh, I just nodded and walked behind Tensa and Tessa as they uh, started towards the time window room. When the door opened to reveal the interior... Ooh, did it change? What? I saw the lab had uh, undergone some very noticeable changes, yeah. You look... Clean? I can't tell. Anyway. But as I tried to take in all of the differences, uh, I was startled when a family, uh, familiar I mean, voice or uh, piped up from attention. For my attention, damn! Candy! I had about a second to process that Kyo had been sitting near the time window with the video game control in her hand before she tossed it aside and launched herself from her seat to... I had another second to realize that she was currently uh, flinging herself out of here. And if I had one more second, I might have braced myself enough for her tackle hook. No, I'm sorry, no. Unfortunately, I only had those two seconds. Damn. And so I went crashing down to the floor. Ah! Oh, damn, go. Uh, hi. Uh, ooh. My head crashed into the floor, and uh, while I was seeing stars, damn, uh, Kyo was uh, giggling in delight, hugging me tightly as she massaged my cheek with hers, with her hand, or with her, uh, uh, about what? <laughs> oh, I missed you, Kenji. I'm so glad you have, or have you back and everything. It's been so crazy, and... Uh, uh, Kyo? Looking up at the uh, mention of her name, Kyo uh, pushed herself up uh, to her hands and knees. Oh shit! I should look at my grandfather. I was giving a, a perfect view. I mean, damn, bro, damn, man. Uh, oh shit, hold on. Ah oh, shit, my hot body doesn't work anymore. What? The okay, good. Uh, yeah, I was giving a perfect view of her balance and titties, and uh, I also noticed that uh, she was also. So, or, no, she was now basically, uh, shining me over, uh, a certain area. I would appreciate if you 
you know, get off my grandson. What? Granddad? No!